My name is John Oliver and I'm Managing Director of Kent Scopes Limited. I've uh, been in the company for just short of two years now. Yeah. Uh, I've been fortunate to join at a time where it's experiencing quite significant growth. Okay, we're uh, celebrating our 10 year anniversary um, just a few months ago, um, but really it's only in the last three years where the company started to increase its number of customers uh, and revenue. When, when we started out, we've been self-funding, um, but we've had some quite good support from the Welsh Government. We've had a grant towards some testing and measuring equipment, which was essential to our prototype development. Um, and we've also, last year, had some support towards an exhibition in the USA, which I think on balance, if we didn't have that, we probably wouldn't have gone, and it's really helped our export drive in that market. When you go to these trade shows, you never quite know what to expect. Um, but we managed to meet a lot of uh, fairly major uh, vehicle manufacturers that are based in the US um, and that's helped us start our, our sales process with them. We were very successful in um, achieving a major contract with a, a large multinational corporation called General Dynamics who um, are global, they are huge um, and for us to win that type of contract everybody in the company has to really up their game so designing people, um, engineers, purchasing, production, program management, everybody in the company had to come together and really deliver to enable us to get this contract. So for them to give us a contract company in North Wales, such a big company is, is a really great success for us. Be very focused in your market, um, you know, really aim specifically at a particular target market you're interested in. But I think probably the best advice I was ever given was an old boss said to me, follow the money yeah. and what he meant was spend your time with people who are not just interested in your product but actually value your proposition and they've got a budget so you know, don't waste your time with industrial tourists who are just interested but actually are going to waste your time and it's going to go nowhere. Last, last year we exported 80% so of our business here 80% of it goes overseas um, and although the UK market was the first one we started with um, we were very cautious and careful about the markets that we went into. Um, so the, the short answer is you've got to go and visit. You know, internet, email, phone will only get you so far and you've got to be very focused in the countries that you target. A big market doesn't mean it's an accessible market, you might be better off with a smaller one because it's, it's a week out of your life when you go and visit these places so you've got to be very careful where you spend your time. So I would say yeah be very cautious and, and, and visit, you've got to go and visit. The easiest thing to do is, is pick a relevant trade show um, and spend a lot of time talking to virtually everybody there because you'll understand better the, the dynamics of that market, what the channels to market are, do you need an agent, should you avoid an agent, do you need a distributor, should you sell direct and it's a quick and easy way of understanding the dynamics of a particular country that you might wish to target so I would say it's an easy thing to do and you should be quite straightforward for you to, to organise. I would say hire good people, mm. you know when you're this size you need all the specialist and, and best people you can afford. Um, empower your people, everybody thinks oh, I can do that better and I can, you know, I can do that but in reality you know if you get good people they, they can do it a lot better than you can um, and I'd say you know over Overcommit your um, your resources to your customers. So you know, do as much as you can, and uh, for your customers in the early stage of your growth, because they're the ones that are going to be with you for the long time.